Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Good okay. Life. All right, cmrcracing.com bringing you these interviews. I'm here with the current leader of the MX1 Monster Energy Nationals title medallion of the OTS Suzuki team. Buddy, things are going gravy right now. How are you feeling? I feel good, you know. I'm just out riding and working hard and racing. It's been it's been really good. I've uh, My bike's been working uh, pretty good, and uh, I feel good and in shape. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been paying off, all the hard work. Well, the cool thing about the World Wide Web is, is this is probably going to be up maybe tonight or tomorrow, so maybe you could give a little little update of what happened today in practice to your bike, because I know Sims, he's probably working his balls off right now. Yeah, you know, I mean, I uh, felt good in practice, got out, did, like, probably about two laps, and then uh, there was a problem with the stator. But, uh, yeah, Steve Sims got got it all fixed up, ready to go already, probably, and, uh, you know, so I'm not, not too worried about it. Um, I know my bikes. I, you know, trust my bike, and I know it'll be good, good for tomorrow. You know, I was sitting on your bike today. You're a small guy, but everything on there—you got your front brake pulled right tight to the bar. Your clutch lever is just a little bit out. Like, are you just get, you got stubby fingers and everything? Your bike is shorter. I'm sitting on this thing. I'm like, this feels like a sled almost. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got uh, the chop seat. I got chop subframe. I got you know tall, you know, big sharp pegs. My levers, my bars are rolled back. My levers are close to my hands. I don't know. It just feels small. Everyone says like they get on my bike, feels like an 80. <laughs> so for all you sort of hobbit type people out there, there's still a chance out there. Okay, so I, during the week, you know, when they're not racing stuff, what do you do for a good time and stuff like that? I mean, I'm sure you're always hanging out with Amy as well. That's probably fun. <laughs> yeah, no, we hang out a little bit when we can see each other. But um, you know, I go swimming and jump off the towers at like the university. I play like squash, just hang out with my friends, road bike, and uh, I've been. Uh, Building these old mini bikes that my dad's been dad's, <laughs> dad's been running. I just got a '99 Z50 going. Things mint. Those things were kick ass back then. Um, are you in hunting like your old man? I know your your old man's right into deer hunting stuff. Are you into shooting some guns and blowing Bambi away? Uh, no, not really. No, you know I I can just go in the backyard and pet one. I don't need to go hunting it. Yeah, that's true for anybody that's seen the Destroyer film stuff. That's that, uh, how was I didn't I don't remember his name now. I did watch it. Petey, how's Petey doing? Petey's good. He's got four new kids. <laughs> oh, he's got four new babies on the go. Have you named them? Um, well, there's two bucks now. I guess my dad named one of them PJ, or like PD Jr. kind of thing. Okay. It's kind of cool, but <laughs> That sounds kind of neat. For, yeah, for those who don't know, he's got a, uh, a deer as a pet. It's pretty cool. Ty, behind us here, we got the organizers of the food. What kind of stuff, you know, for young kids watch? What, what do you eat on race day or sort of to prep, prep, to prep yourself for race day? Um, you know, you got bananas. It's good. Um, grapes, yogurt in the morning. Uh, I don't know, just the spread. We have sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, and just you got to make sure you always do eat. You got to keep fueling yourself. We use uh, quite a bit of energy when you're riding. So. Do you like peanut butter and jam sandwiches? I like peanut butter and honey sandwiches. <sighs> Robbie Rainer at the Arena Cross loves peanut butter and honey. That's good. Me myself, I like a can of tuna on race day. I don't know why. With nothing on it either. Really? Is that gross? Not really. I it kind of tastes. It. It's a little dry. The reason I like it because it tastes kind of bad and dry, and it sort of gets me not thinking about racing because I get nervous and stuff. And then I'm like, man, I kind of feel like dry out with the with the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> yeah, it can maybe fix you up. Okay, we went through practice. Obviously, it didn't go so well, but the track looks like it's shaping up. And last year here, you had quite a good uh, first moto. Sorry, I said quite a good only moto going up until your bike broke. How are you feeling coming into tomorrow's racing? Um, I feel really good. You know, I did only two two laps, and like my second lap was the second fastest. You know, and I feel like I still had like a whole bunch left to to get out there. Like I was taking it easy almost, but uh, you know, I just I feel really good. I'm just gonna get two good starts off the concrete, hopefully, and uh, you know, be consistent like it has been all year so far. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Keeping the smile on his face. CMRCRacing.com bringing you this time.